What's up guys? Today is a blue hoodie and um, hat kind of day today. I've also just noticed that the blue hoodie actually matches like the blue lights behind my desk here, so that's pretty um, unintentional. Like I didn't intend for it to match, but Hello. what's up guys? So today I'm doing something gay. Love for a video today. So today I thought I'd answer your questions today. Like I've not done this like millions of times already. So yeah, like loads of weird questions today which I thought I'd answer. So I'm gonna answer them all from TikTok today. Um, so that should be pretty interesting, so. Let's go, shall we? Okay, so first question which is, wait, why does my hat make my forehead look more like bigger? Like, this makes me look like I have a bigger forehead. And that's kind of ugly. So I need to put my hat down so I don't have a ugly big forehead because I hate my forehead so much. Anyway, what zodiac sign are you? So I was born on June the 5th, so I guess I'm at me a Gemini. I think it is, anyway, I'm not sure. Am I the only person who doesn't really know exactly what like zodiac sign I am? Like, I feel like I'm not really that interested in that kind of thing, but maybe I should be. But yeah, I think I'm a Gemini, so hopefully that answers your question. Are you proud of your smile? Absolutely no, like I am not proud of my smile at all because I smile at this. And I hate it so much. Like, I've done many photos before where I awkwardly smiled my teeth open. And trust me, it's pretty damn awful. And this is why people always say, Oh, why don't you smile widely in your photos? Because normally on, like, my Instagram photos, I normally do this, kind of. Well, that's because I smile awkwardly like this. Like, for me, like, there's literally no other way to, like, not smile at that. My face is just not made to smile with my teeth open and smile widely, so. And one thing I hate as well, like, when you, like, literally, like, when you're out in public, and you know when you have, like, a resting face? So my resting face is like this. Literally. And people are always like, Oh, why don't you smile today? Are you unhappy? Like, what's wrong with you? Why aren't you smiling today? And that's the reason because I just don't like smiling. And I am happy, like, I am actually really content and things like that, but I just don't like smiling because of my ugly ass smile. One song you'd pay to be deleted. It's the one song which I would have loved to delete, like, get rid of it from existence, like, just get rid of it from the universe, is a song that goes I got my head on the sun roof. I'm blasting your favourite tunes. That song, like, that song is literally all over TikTok and I just hate it. I never actually used to hate it. Like, I used to actually kind of like the song. In fact, I actually had it on my like playlist on Spotify because um, I have a whole like Spotify playlist for songs which I listen to like, like when I'm going for a walk or whenever I'm like doing something which I need music for and that song was on it. I had to get rid of it because I think I listened to it like a bit too much both on TikTok like from a few page and from listening to it on Spotify to the point where like I just grown sick of it and I honestly don't get the song's concept either. Like, like, he's singing about his head being on the sunroof, like... Literally get your head down from the sunroof. It's actually quite dangerous for your head to be on the sunroof, because what if, like, the sunroof, like, closes in, like, automatically, and then you got, like, your head, like, stuck on the... Like, so the song actually gives me, like, quite bad anxiety of that, like, in case of the person's, like, head's on the sunroof, and the sunroof just, like, closes, and it just squishes all his body into smithereens. Halloween or Christmas? My favourite seasons are coming up. Well, summer's actually like one of my favourite seasons so I'm actually quite sad to see summer ending but at least autumn and winter's coming and autumn and winter are my favourite seasons so it's actually quite hard because I love like the whole like autumn Halloween aesthetic you know because you get to go to pumpkin patches you get the Starbucks coffee menus you know you get all the leaves falling going on like autumn walks dressing up in autumn clothes going out all your scarves and coats and jumpers and all the things and Halloween as well so like doing Halloween patches parties, getting Halloween costumes, trick-or-treating. So I love Halloween, but I also love the whole Christmassy thing as well, like going to like Christmas markets, watching Christmas shows, decorating for Christmas, looking at Christmas stuff at the garden centre, and also Christmas as well, so getting presents, Christmas day, having Christmas dinner, the turkeys, the stuffing, the beef, and all the things that come with Christmas dinner. I love both of them, so I can't really like say 
say what which ones I love better. So I'd have to say that I love both just as much as each other. Yeah, I love Halloween and Christmas. What are the three things that always eat your money? Okay, so one of the things which always I like, eat my money is the Starbucks iced coffees and I would say stuff from the bargain store and also stuff from like the craft store as well. Like if I go to any of those places and get something from them then my life feels like 1000% better so yeah. What was your most cringiest phase? Okay so I remember there was a phase back in 2017 I think yes because I was about 13 slash 14 at the time and it had just been my 14th birthday. I actually remember it falling on but I think it was a time also when I was like fi trying to like find myself like I was trying to like fit in and like be myself like trying to find out who I truly was obviously nowadays I found who I truly am like I am me like I found my authentic self like I am me and I will never change from me it does not mean I had to go through a bunch of phases to get there so I remember my phase now I wouldn't say chav phase because I wasn't trying to be a chav but I remember there was a phase where I thought like styling a bright blue um, Nike like hoodie so something like this with a black puma sweatpants and then also going to the Turkish barbers and getting like a really like low haircut and then styling my hair for it to be spiky I honestly thought that I was so attractive at one point and honestly looking back it really wasn't um so yeah how many times have you been heartbroken okay well how many times did I go to McDonald's and try to order a Smarties or whatever McFlurry and found out that there's no McFlurries available I think it's about five times actually so I guess I can say I've had my heart broken about five times this year so um yeah. Okay, so I think that's all the questions which I'm going to answer today. So those were some really weird questions, but I'm glad I was able to answer them as best as I could. Anyway, so I hope you guys liked watching this video. If you have, don't forget to leave a like on this video, subscribe, do all the things. Don't forget to also subscribe to my vlogging channel as well. I'm vlogging every single day. And I shall see you very, very soon. Bye. Whoa, the light just like, went off. <laughs> this thing literally just fell off as soon as I was saying bye and trying to like, stop the camera. Uh, bye.